Welcome to Unsolved Theories, where we explore some of the most perplexing mysteries in history. In this episode, we turn our attention to one of the most famous disappearances of all time, that of Amelia Earhart, the first female aviator to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. Join us as we investigate the events leading up to her disappearance and examine the different theories that have emerged about what really happened to her. Missing Amelia Earhart was born on July 24, 1897, in Atchison, Kansas. She showed an early interest in aviation and received flying lessons from Netta Snook, one of the few female pilots at the time. Earhart quickly gained notoriety for her flying skills and set several records, including becoming the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic in 1932. However, her most famous flight would be her last. On July 2, 1937, Earhart and her navigator, Fred Noonan, departed from Leh, New Guinea, on a mission to fly around the world. They were flying in a Lockheed Electra 10E aircraft and had already covered more than 22,000 miles when they took off from Leh. The next day, they landed on Howland Island, a small, uninhabited island in the Pacific Ocean. However, something went wrong during their approach, and they were unable to locate the island's radio beacon. A massive search operation was launched, but no sign of Earhart or Noonan was ever found. So what happened to them? That's the million-dollar question, and it's one that has puzzled investigators and aviation enthusiasts for decades. There are several theories about what happened to Earhart, and we'll explore some of the most plausible ones here. Official Explanation – Fuel Exhaustion The official explanation for Earhart's disappearance is that the plane simply ran out of fuel and crashed into the Pacific Ocean. This explanation is based on calculations made by Earhart's navigator, Fred Noonan, who was responsible for estimating the plane's fuel supply. According to this theory, Earhart and Noonan likely became lost after they were unable to locate Howland Island's radio beacon. They flew around looking for the island, using up more fuel than expected. When they finally realized they were in trouble, it was too late, and they crashed into the ocean. Despite extensive searches of the area, no wreckage or debris from the plane has ever been found, leading some to question this theory. However, many aviation experts continue to believe that fuel exhaustion is the most likely explanation for the disappearance. Crash Landing on Nakumaroro Island Another theory suggests that Earhart's plane crashed on Nakumaroro Island, a coral atoll located about 1,800 miles southeast of Howland Island. This theory is based on the discovery of several artifacts on the island that may have belonged to Earhart and Noonan. In the 1940s, a British colonial officer found the partial skeleton of a human on Nakumaroro Island, along with a number of items that appeared to have been left behind by a castaway. These items included a woman's shoe, freckle cream, a jackknife, and a piece of aluminum that was consistent with the plane's construction. In recent years, further analysis of these artifacts has led some experts to believe that they may have belonged to Earhart and Noonan. For example, the aluminum fragment is similar in design to the fuselage of the Lockheed Electra 10E, the plane that Earhart was flying. However, skeptics of this theory argue that the artifacts could have been left on the island by other people. Furthermore, no definitive evidence has been found to conclusively link the artifacts to Earhart and Noonan. Captured by the Japanese Another theory suggests that Earhart and Noonan were captured by the Japanese and executed as spies. This theory stems from a number of reports of radio transmissions that were heard in the days after Earhart's disappearance. According to some reports, these transmissions were made by Earhart herself, suggesting that she and Noonan had survived the crash and were in the custody of the Japanese. Some even claim to have heard Earhart's voice on the transmissions. This theory is supported by some circumstantial evidence, such as the fact that the Japanese were known to have been active in the Pacific at the time and may have been monitoring Earhart's flight. However, no concrete evidence has ever been found to support the idea that Earhart was captured by the Japanese, and many historians believe that the theory is unlikely. Secret Spy Mission Another theory that has gained traction in recent years is that Earhart was not simply a record-breaking aviator but was also working as a spy for the US government. This theory suggests that Earhart was on a secret mission to gather intelligence about Japanese military activities in the Pacific. According to this theory, Earhart's mission was compromised when she and Noonan were captured by the Japanese. Some believe that the US government covered up Earhart's true mission in order to avoid a diplomatic incident with Japan. While there is no direct evidence to support this theory, it is not entirely implausible given the geopolitical climate of the time. However, many historians remain skeptical of this theory, arguing that there is no concrete evidence to suggest that Earhart was working as a spy. And there you have it, some of the most popular theories about the disappearance of Amelia Earhart. 
Decades after her disappearance, there is still no conclusive evidence to explain what really happened to her. However, her legacy as a pioneering aviator and role model for generations of women continues to endure. If you have any thoughts or ideas about what happened to Amelia Earhart, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on our theories.